Are you kidding me? Are you serial? Oh, are you serial? I'm going to dress up Sally like a Springer Spaniel this year. Oh, who? <laughs> Sally, my golden retriever. I'm going to dress her up for her, her Halloween costume. Is gonna, she's going to be dressed up as that Springer Spaniel in that, in that video on my dog. So I'm going to make her jingo. I'm going to dress up my dog like a dog for Halloween. How about that? <laughs> Here's a look at your satellite and radar image. We put it into motion. It's a 12-hour loop. Nothing is showing up for us, but it's raining. What's going on? We got low-level moisture, so low that it's below the lowest radar beam. So here's the deal. Spotty light showers through at least 10 o'clock this morning for everybody from the beaches to the inland valleys to the mountains to the deserts. Now, the mountains, you're going to have showers on and off throughout the day, and it's going to be windy out there or breezy as well. Then some showers tonight, light showers, a few one-hundredths of an inch, Everywhere again tonight and into tomorrow morning. Temperatures today 10 to 20 degrees below average for this time of the year. A live look from our Fox Sports Grill camera on the Hilton Bayfront there. There's the bridge, and you're looking down towards the south end. You can see that it's cloudy, it's foggy, it's misty, it's hazy. 66 degrees at Lindbergh. 61 degrees in Oceanside, 57 degrees in Ramona. Now we're starting to get less and less vis. So three miles visibility in Oceanside, four miles vis in Miramar, 10 miles vis Ramona. Onshore winds picking up. We're still in the single digits along the coastline. But as the morning progresses and we get into the afternoon hours, we're going to have more wind, especially getting up into the mountains. But like I said, just gusting upwards of about 25 miles per hour as uh, the outer bands of this low, the upper level low that brought us all the rain over the last few days. And the uh, four bands on this one, uh, as it moves this upper level low, as it slowly but surely moves through the Pacific up to the Pacific Northwest, forecast models showing that keeping us cool, cloudy, and drizzly over the weekend. And then next week, we get into the middle and the end of next weekend, and we're going to switch to an offshore flow. Santa Ana's a story for us. Dry, warm weather. Warmer, I should say, relatively. Swells out of the southwest at two to three feet, but I wouldn't suggest paddling out because it's all contaminated. You know, you got to give it 72 hours. You get the runoff and you get the elevated bacteria levels and you get really bad ear, nose, and throat. You can get all kinds of bad stuff that you don't even want to think about. High tide uh, just before 9 o'clock this morning at a 6.3 and then low tide around 3.40 right at sea level. The sun came up at 6.58 and it's going to set tonight at 6.08. So here's how it all looks on the seven-day forecast. Looks like the weekend is going to be beautiful. I mean, it's going to be a weekend forecast. I'm so excited. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. It's, fr <laughs> it's Friday. It's Friday, and we have some light rain coming down around town. We're taking a live look from our Fox Sports Grill camera on the Hilton Bayfront. We're seeing some raindrops there on the camera lens, and it is cloudy. It is 66 degrees at Lindbergh, 68% relative humidity. Winds are out of the west-northwest at 7 miles per hour. The forecast today, a mostly cloudy one with rain this morning through about 10 o'clock. And then it'll rain on and off throughout the day in the mountains and everywhere else again tonight and into tomorrow morning. So another cool, cloudy, breezy day. The weekend's going to be nice and cool and breezy as well. And then Santa Ana's look like they're on the way for the middle end of next week. Let's see what's up now with traffic. Traffic's been a bear this morning because of you know the wet roadways on the 52 going westbound right at the 15 watch out for an accident there now the northbound 15 has been a real hot spot this morning from university all the way up to the 52 expect delays there the northbound 805 also jammed getting up to the 52 just give yourselves a lot of extra drive time and following distance okay coming up in the next report your seven day see you back here then Raul it's, uh, we've got some water droplets there on the lens. It's, it's raining. We have some spotty showers and will through at least 10 o'clock this morning, likely in the mountains throughout the day, and then we'll have more showers, light showers, drizzle activity kind of precipitation tonight and into tomorrow morning as well. Temperatures 10 to 20 degrees below average, and it's going to be breezy up in the mountains, 25 mile per hour gust there this afternoon. There it is. Water droplets! Water droplets! <laughs> Oh my gosh, 66 degrees at Lindbergh Field right now, and later today we're going to be in the mid to low 60s beaches inland. All right, let's see what's up with traffic, because traffic is terrible. South on the 15, the ramp to the 52, an accident with injuries in the fast lane. On the 8 eastbound, the Fletcher Parkway off-ramp, there's a crash. Northbound 805 from H to the 8, then Balboa to Governor. And the northbound 15 is especially bad this morning from University up to the 163. Okay, coming up in the next report, your 7-day forecast and surf. I'll see you back here then, guys.